The National Secretary of the All Progressives Congress, Waziri Bulama, says that a meeting of the National Executive Committee called by Victor Gedam was illegal. This is coming hours after President Muhammad Buhari backed Giyadam as the authentic acting national chairman of the APC and promised to attend the meeting scheduled for Asurok. Bulama, in a statement on Wednesday, urged members of the party to disregard the notice of the next meeting because Giyadam was not part of the National Working Committee or an APC member. Speaking further, the factional national chairman, Hiliad Eta, insisted that there is no faction in the, there is no faction at all. This is the National Working Committee of the APC in Nigeria. I sit here, I sit here on behalf of distinguished Senator Abiola Ajimobi as the acting chairman of this party. It is not right if you look up, if you look up the meaning of factions. It is not right for you to see 15 distinguished members of the NWC and two who met with us virtually and call us a faction. If Itogedom is arranging a neck, I believe, I believe that it is, it is your responsibility as a member of the fourth estate of the realm to investigate his locus. We have social crusader Ben Aka via Zoom to talk about this. Good afternoon, Mr. Ben. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Now, what's your perspective on the new twist on the APC leadership crisis? Uh, President Buhari is uh, saying Giyadom's leadership is backed and supported by the law. Yeah, I would really like us, when I say us, I mean me and you, who are the people, the owners of Nigeria, the people, not the politicians, to understand what is going on. What is going on is that it is becoming more naked to everybody that these people are discussing personal interests and nothing more. And they are taking you, me, every other average Nigerian for a ride. It is true that the law has, the law court has said Gerdom is the chairman of APC, at least for now. But at the same time, how many laws has APC ever obeyed? How many court rulings have they obeyed? They pick and choose. And it's not just APC. It is the entire political class. There are lessons to be learned from what is going on. People's eyes should now be open to know that when these politicians are fighting among themselves, they are fighting for what is in there for each one of them personally. And we all splitting our heads and knocking our heads against the wall, supporting this, supporting that, when what they are discussing has nothing to, of interest to us. They are, we are not even in consideration whatsoever. I mean, that's... If a group of people are ruling a country, the crisis they have now tells you how have they been able to manage the country. With Mohammed Buhari disagreeing or being at variance in terms of opinion with the very people who are supposed to implement his policies, can you now see why those policies that have been mounted have never been implemented? Can you now see? So we really have to go back to rethink. Instead of talking about how they are quarreling with themselves and tearing themselves apart, we are going to be talking about what is it they are doing to the people. That's where I want to focus on all that, all the shenanigans that are going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get the point I'm trying to make, my dear. Because I was going to ask you that with all of this going on with our politicians, you know, where does it leave the people? Where does our trust lie in terms of leadership in this country? Yes, that is where I'm going. Number one, if there has been a leadership, it has been a failed leadership. Otherwise, I would say there's no leadership. What each one of us has to be doing to think back, sit back, 
think, strategize, how do we take back this country from these rascals? Otherwise, they are ruining this country for generations yet unborn. I know what I saw as I was growing up. And I hate to think that my children will get what I'm seeing they're going to get, given what these politicians are doing to this country today. My dear, we need to rise up. The elite, the fair-minded, the people who even think that this society should continue to ex exist, we need to rise up and take our country back, mm -hmm. whichever way we can. We have to take this country back to rescue it. These guys have no interest of this country at heart. They have no interest of any, the common man at heart. Neither do they have the interest of putting things right. So we have no choice. They are telling these things that are happening. Is, let me tell you, it's not really peculiar with um, APC. All these uh, godfatherism, non-respect for the rule of law, non-respect for their own constitution, no democracy within the party. It is common with all the old-time politicians. If you look right, you see it. If you look left, you see it. So the people have to devise a way of taking back. And they have made the political space in such a way that they scare away all the good thinking and upright people. Mm -hmm. But these people have got to stop getting scared. They've got to realize that there must be sacrifice to be made for our children to exist in this environment. Right. I mean, Otherwise, we are going to have children who will be running to other countries and who will be chased away from those countries. Hopefully we don't get to that part when we'll yeah, be chased away something. from this country. Now, in spite of the variation in opinion and ideas, the next meeting is going on. Do you expect anything different from this meeting today? Yes. I don't expect too much, but I expect something different. I expect a deepening of the crisis. You expect, expect, to be sure, you said you expect you a deepening... I don't expect much difference. If there's going to be any difference, it's going to be a deepening of the crisis within them. Because if you check, you'll find out that the APC was founded by a conglomeration of people with different opinions, different ideas, different lifestyles. All they were going to do, they had one common objective, to grab power and to pillage. That was the common objective. So now they've got power. They are different lifestyles. They are different opinions. They are different intentions. I'll show you now, and that's what's causing cleavages. And those cleavages are actually, to my mind, irreconcilable. Mm. So they're going to have this fight on to whatever. Either they break up or they die. But I don't see much going to happen. Right. If any cosmetic patch-up is made, it's not going to last, I can tell you that. Social Crusader, Ben Aka, thank you so very much for your contributions on News on the Air. Keep safe out there.